Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Artez and welcome to an episode of Weapon Previews. The weapon we will be previewing today is the LSAT, but before I begin I'd like to give a special thanks to FixNow and the rest of the team for allowing me to review this weapon earlier. Um, they gave me a 3 day code, but of course because it is a 3 day code, uh, the weapon is only a trial, which I could not put attachments, but that is of no worries because this weapon is pretty beastly in my opinion. Uh, now let's begin with the basic raw stats. It has an average rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute, it has 3 mags, 90 rounds in each mag, 270 rounds total, and already starting with that, um, that that's a large ammo capacity. Uh, as I was playing, I never found myself running out of ammo, and I've played a good amount of games already with the LSAT. Um, they've been quite fun, but the point is is that I've never run out of ammo. Uh, whenever I play with a medic, I at least run out, out of ammo, I mean, I, I don't know, I'd say like, once or twice per game almost uh, sometimes um, and to be quite honest I never ran out of ammo so uh, that's already a good thing. It has a reload time of 5.7 seconds which is pretty good for a, uh, a belt fed LMG um, uh, quite, quite fast in my opinion I thought it would have been slower but that's a pretty good time 5.7 seconds. It has a projectile velocity of 650 which is above average so that's a very good thing uh, your bullets are going to hit your enemy faster as you aim um, now the damage stats. Uh, initial range damage is from 25 to 23, which will consist of 4 to 5 shots to kill a guy. Uh, mid range damage is from 23 to 21, which will consist of 5 shots to kill a guy. Long range damage is from 22 to 20, uh, which will take you to 5 shots to kill a guy. Um, and already telling by the damage stats, um, this gun is a very good weapon, uh, primarily because it doesn't have much bullet drop off because um, the all, all of the damage are balanced between 25 to 20, which is a really good range. It only differences by 5 on like all ranges from initial range, uh, top damage uh, being 25, and long range damage, top damage being, I mean lowest damage being 20. Uh, so you have an interval of 5, and that's really good because some weapons, uh, they have some a pretty large interval of their damage drop off. For example, uh, initial range uh, would be, I don't know, 23, and then long range would go all the way down to 9 even, uh, just base without any attachments. And you know, this is really good because um, like I said, it guarantees you a 4 to 5 shot kill every time. So you don't have to worry about shooting 6 or even 7 times on long range uh, because the damage drop off is not that much. It's only going to take you 5 bullets um, unless of course they're using um, uh, body armor. Then it might take you a little bit more. Uh, but that, that, I mean, that's all the stuff that goes along with the uh, LSAT and of course in game these stats are true um, and in game it says it has high accuracy high damage and long-range capabilities and that is very true um, of course this is without attachments so the attachments I would recommend would be the uh, predator barrel to increase the range and the uh, um, projectile velocity uh, I would also recommend Viper Max just to increase that uh, that damage on range well, it doesn't necessarily increase your damage on range, it increases the damage, but put the Predator Barrel and the Viper Max together and you have a killing machine on range. And don't think it's going to be OP, um, that's one of the things I'm sure many of you guys are worrying about whether it's going to be OP or not. And to be quite honest guys, uh, it's, it's not, so there's really nothing to worry about. Um, this gun is just very good. Um, it is going to have, uh, I know... Uh, I know my, uh, I guess you could say PTE review of the LSAT was that it was going to be very OP and at, at that point it was, um, but that, I will get to that now. Um, at, in the PTE it was really, really accurate, but they toned that down a bit. Um, they added a, t a tad bit of recoil, not too much, it still has pretty low recoil, uh, just base without any attachments. Um, it's, they, I can definitely tell they increased the deviation because in the PTE I noticed that the gun felt like it had zero deviation none at all almost and I could tell that you know uh, of course because it, it is an LMG um, if you shoot flat, uh, full auto without you know tap firing your deviation will climb very fast and a lot um, so th you know you have to make sure you tap fire this weapon but once you put something like a tactical stock you know you could go full auto for about I'd, I'd say like 10 bullets and uh, until it starts like deviating pretty bad but um base I would say tap fire uh, mid to long range and if you want depends how close you are to the enemy go full auto uh, but it's a it's still a very accurate weapon just base without any attachments so those are the attachments I would recommend overall predator barrel viper mags and tactical stock I know that's what I'm gonna use I usually use that for most LMGs but um 
Uh, this, I'm sure it's going to suit the LSAT very good. Um, the only drawback I see from the LSAT is that it has a um, ADA's time or aim down sight time of 0.4 seconds, which is I would say fairly long. I'm, uh, it's not, it doesn't take forever. Uh, kind of like um, what's the weapon? I think it's the PKM or something. Um, that takes pretty long to aim down sight. But anyways, uh, that's the only drawback. Um, if you're a pre-buyer, I'm not. I like to work my way to things um, to buy them. But if you're a pre-buyer, I suggest you buy this. It's a really good weapon. So yeah guys, my time is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.